Ohio couple's wedding is ruined when a guest decides to show up in a white gown at the ceremony. But before we start, please make sure to subscribe to MNR TV and hit the bell so you never miss any upload from us. Also, leave a like right now. Your marriage is supposed to be one of the best days of your life. The only two people that the wedding preparations and day should revolve around are the bride and groom. The bride is the most excited person who gets all the attention she desires and is really the center of attraction. But the biggest fear every bride has is what if somebody steals her thunder on her wedding day and what is supposed to be a great day for her is ruined forever. The couple in this story has everything sorted, from venue to caterers and guest list. They thought they would have a perfect wedding, but things were going to be far from perfect for them, and the reason would be something that we can never think that anyone could do. This wedding fail will be something we all would have never heard of. Amy Hill and Rich Penza announced their engagement after having a lovely three-year relationship with each other. Amy moved from Oklahoma to Ohio for college, and that is where she met Rich, the love of her life. It was a day of heavy torrential rainfall that made the two fall in love with each other. Because of the rain, Amy was unable to walk back home from college, and Rich offered to drop her in his car. That drive in the heavy rain made all the difference. After dating each other for three years, the couple had finally decided on a forever, and it was time to start the preparations. But the first and foremost thing was for Rich to make Amy meet his parents and family. Rich had an extended family, and Amy was really happy to have met all of them. But the one person that she wanted to please the most was Rich's mother, who was soon going to be her mother-in-law. Amy and Rich had a very unique first date. Rich took her to a friend's wedding that was in a small and cute church in Ohio. And so three years later, the couple decided they would tie the knot in the same church. Everything was planned for the wedding, much in advance, and it all seemed fine. Who wouldn't want a perfect wedding? But the title of perfection was going to be far from the couple's wedding, and something never happened before would happen. Though Amy and Rich had been together since three years and knew that their bond was forever, they were very excited to celebrate the day that would officially bring them together for a lifetime and were really looking forward to the day. But so was someone else who would ruin everything. By now, we know that Amy wanted perfection in everything she did and deciding on her wedding gown was not going to be an exception either. Amy searched for her perfect dress in a lot of stores until she finally got one. Both Amy and Richard were more than ready to tie the knot when the day finally arrived and the excitement level was at its peak because they were going to recite their vows in the same church where they first spent time together. The couple had invited only a few people to their wedding. They wanted to keep the wedding an intimate affair and only close friends and family were invited. Amy thought she knew the nature of every guest personally since it was only close people, but one of these people was going to play the worst trick on the wedding day. Amy did not have a lot of time for a separate bridal shower, so her bridesmaids gathered and surrounded the soon bride-to-be. The morning of the wedding, all the women in the bridal party cram into a tiny room in the church, she wrote. You know, 15 coats of mascara, putting napkins under your pits, you don't sweat on your dress. Amy was really lucky to have great friends who were always by her side and completely understood what she would need and when. The group of friends was very close to each other, but someone was going to spoil it all for Amy. Would it be someone from her friends? On the morning of her wedding day, Amy started getting ready for the big day. It was indeed her day. All eyes were going to be on her, so she wanted to look the best. She was totally unaware of the mishap that was on its way. As soon as Amy got ready, it was time for her to walk down the aisle. Rich was waiting for her very eagerly, but someone else was too. Amy got out of the room with her bridesmaids and was all ready to walk towards the love of her life. Colors were one of the main key for Amy's wedding. She and Rich had decided that men could wear gray suits and women would wear royal blue dresses. But because of this one coordination that the couple had wanted on their day, it was all going to fall apart. All set to be Rich's wife forever, Amy entered the church with the widest smile on her face and looked straight at Rich with love in her eyes. 
but what she saw next was something she wished she had never seen at all. Like almost every other bride, Amy admitted that her wedding was a blur for her also. She had so much going on in one single go. Most people say their wedding is a blur, and that's true for me too, she said. But there was one thing that Amy would remember all her life about her wedding, without fail. She looked around and saw someone standing in a white dress. Someone at her wedding was wearing not just something white, but a gown itself. Amy froze for a minute when she saw the woman in the white gown. Her first thought was how and why would she? And her second thought was, who was this even? Who could it possibly be who had decided to ruin the wedding? Amy tried to calm herself down. She knew this would not help, and she could not just let someone destroy her wedding like that. She started walking towards Rich and brought back her smile. All the while, she wanted to know who the woman was who was standing with her back towards Amy. Amy reached the stage and decided she would not look at the woman until her ceremony was over. After all, it was Rich that mattered the most in the end, and it was their day no matter what. After the ceremony was over and Amy and Rich were announced as husband and wife, they both got down from the stage to receive congratulations from the people. And that is when Amy noticed that the person who was wearing a wedding gown was none other than her own mother-in-law. Rich's mother was standing there in the middle of the guests and all eyes were confused whether to look at Amy's reaction or at the mother-in-law's. Amy only had one question in her mind. Why is this woman wearing a wedding dress on my wedding day? Amy was not the only one to notice what her mother-in-law had done. Everyone had noticed it, but nobody wanted to draw Amy's attention specifically to the matter. It's like people didn't want to draw attention to it, she said. Plenty of guests remember it, though. To everyone's surprise, Amy was rather calm. She knew what her mother-in-law had done was not right, but there were so many things ongoing at the same time that Amy had decided to ignore the matter for a while. Everyone who has ever been to a wedding knows that it's common courtesy that no other person should wear a white dress at the wedding except for the bride, and especially not a white gown. But Amy did not want to do anything wrong by asking her mother-in-law as to why she had done that, until... I didn't know what my mother-in-law planned to wear, Amy wrote. Didn't think to ask. Only if she would have asked, her wedding day would not have been such a big disaster, and she really wanted to know why. Amy's bridesmaids had spent the wedding looking at her and then her mother-in-law and then her again to make sure the two did not get into a fight, but Amy had decided she would not lose her temper. I'm happy to report the wedding unfolded without bloodshed or anyone being shoved into the champagne fountain, she said. Amy was so furious at her mother-in-law's reactions that she took the event to Twitter, and the whole Twitter family was shocked as to how could a mother do such a thing with her own daughter-in-law and everybody wanted to know why. Amy had finally confronted her mother-in-law. On asking, her mother-in-law told her that she had found the dress at a thrift store at a very cheap price, so she bought it without thinking about it. But why was she so adamant about buying something cheap for her own son's wedding? Amy revealed to her Twitter family as she wrote, Here's the thing, my mother-in-law is extremely frugal, and I don't mean she just enjoys a good bargain. To understand her, you have to know where she comes from. Amy's mother-in-law had been really poor when she was young. She and her siblings would sneak into the kitchen just to eat match heads, and that is something only malnourished kids would do in poverty. Amy continued on Twitter, When you grow up with nothing, it stays with you. Forever, I think. No matter how much money you earn, there's always that little fear in the back of your mind that someone might take it all away. The mother-in-law has really been a bargain hunter and that has affected her attitude towards a lot of things in life. And very often, her habits of bargaining take a toll on her and the things she does are hilarious. Amy tweeted a lot of incidents where her mother-in-law has shown her bargaining skills and they have been really funny. She would take out olives from a Bloody Mary and then use them later for salads. And this is just one of the many such events. The mother-in-law would also carry a water bottle with her at all times and would refill it with the jug that the restaurants provide with. And when her family would ask her to stop doing it, she replied, Why not? I'm paying for it. When the Twitter readers were given so many details about Amy's mother-in-law, her story really seemed like a heartbreaking one. And after all the details, neither Amy nor the Twitter readers had any problem with the dress she had worn. 
In fact, Amy tells that her mother-in-law is a very generous person. She writes, when my twins were newborns, she drove across town every night, slept on the sofa, and did three feedings for two babies every night for months. She'd walk over hot coals for her grandchildren. If Amy and her family look back to the wedding now, they all find the incident a funny one. Through years, when Amy built a deep relationship with her mother-in-law, she realized she could never have any bad intentions. Yeah, the wedding dress was a shock, but it gave me a pretty funny memory, she said. In fact, Amy has found a positive thing in the incident of the wedding dress. No one who attended has ever forgotten it. And you have to admit, weddings can be forgettable, she said. And of course, the incident has really made them famous. Because of Amy's tweets of the incident on her Twitter account, the family had become really famous. In fact, their story ended up on the Jimmy Fallon show after being famous on Twitter. But before sharing the story on her Twitter account, Amy was worried that her mother-in-law might get hurt if she shared the story with the world. When I told her about this getting a lot of attention and said I worried it might hurt her feelings, she waved it off. Whatever makes me famous, she said. Even though she had a minor breakdown at her wedding, Amy has not been affected by her mother-in-law's act ever since. The lady knows that she should not have done what she did. If you ask her now, she says she feels terrible about it, Amy wrote.